Alright, hey guys, so I'm uh, back in the Home Depot. I know that on that first video I didn't shoot uh, any the technical terms on the equipment, so I'm going to go ahead and do that so I don't have uh, get bombarded with questions later on. As far as the PVC pipes go themselves, uh, they, they come in two foot pre-cut sections. They're about nine bucks a piece. You're going to need one uh, three inch section and one four inch section, um, and that's pretty basic. Later on you're probably going to want to paint them because they have a little barcode strip on it. That's not very pretty. Uh, and you want to make sure that you use a plastic friendly paint on that. Um, Rust-Oleum makes some stuff that's pretty cheap, like four bucks a can. Uh, as far as the couplings go, uh, what you could do, and what is ideal, is you use a four inch cap. You're going to use two of them, and you're going to cut a four inch hole in the bottom of the one so it slides up and down for aesthetics and to keep everything from wobbling, if I can find the four inch caps. All right? It looks like this, um, and they're going to be about eight bucks as well. The problem with a four inch hole saw is that you're really only going to be using it for this project because it's a Pretty massive hole saw there's no other reason for it so what I did instead on the bottom of the, the three inch or the bottom of the four inch PVC was I bought this reducer they're seven bucks and what I did was I took it back to the Home Depot store where they rent the equipment and I had them use the sawzall and cut it right along this little line right here at the bottom so right where it meets right there and uh, took a file and filed out the inside so it didn't take very long and it saved me the cost of the actual hole saw itself and then I just went ahead and painted it so you can't really tell <sighs> the bottom you're gonna need a toilet flange, and there's two types of toilet flanges you can actually purchase. Uh, there's the kind here that have the hole in the bottom of it, and then there's the kind here that don't. You obviously need the one that, that doesn't have the hole because you need to be airtight. That's gonna be looking about four bucks, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, the hardest part is the section between the three inch and the two inch section right here. You need that to be airtight, and there's a lot of different ways that people have tried to do it on YouTube, and they all pretty much sucked. Uh, they took uh, different uh, gasket sealers and they flipped them upside down, and it was really wonky. And so what I ended up finding was uh, Sue Chief. They don't sell this at Lowe's; they do sell it at Home Depot. They make a toilet flange that has this little rubber gasket on the top of it, and it's for a four-inch PVC pipe. It's a little tricky instead of the three-inch because it's going to go on a three-inch pipe. It's not going to go on the four-inch. But this is the one you're looking for. I ended up taking this off. And um, I, what I did was I glued it to the top of the three inch PVC pipe right here. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that you lubricate it with like a petroleum jelly or something like that because you're not going to be able to move it if you don't. Um, well, anyway, what I ended up doing was I took the cap here, I drilled a 7 16 inch hole on top. That's the same size as what that Qualitex pump is going to be. Um, and then I had a, a half inch hole right next to it. You could use the 7 16 if you only want to buy one, uh, one drill, keep it cheap. It really doesn't matter. It's just for intake because you're not going to be able to uh, pump the balloon up um, or, or move the, the pump up and down to pump the balloon up if the air pressure is too tight. Uh, as far as sealing them goes, it's pretty basic PVC cement. It's like five bucks for this thing. You're not going to use half of it. I mean, it's kind of unnecessary. If you had a smaller can, use that. And the last thing you're going to need is these seat washers. You're going to find them in the sink uh, repair section. It's about four bucks for these. Uh, and the only thing I used these for was on the top. PVC cap where the Qualtex pump went through. I sealed it on both sides so that it was airtight and no air moved back and forth. Because um, again, you're making a pump and it kind of has to be airtight or it's not going to work. Uh, so those are all the pieces, those are all the technical terms. If you need more than that uh, and you can't figure it out with, between these two videos, I should probably just go out and buy one because uh, this is a really basic project. But uh, hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, again, go ahead and follow up below. I'll go ahead and uh, snap some pictures of all the equipment and uh, make sure you have that so that uh, you can use it for reference sake. But other than that, God bless and I hope this is helpful.